So welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the very first group coachathon for 2023. This is a mile marker for us because this is the second year of our group coachathons where we're going to manage to get 12 meetings under our belt by the end of the year. Last year was the first year that we actually did a full year of coachathons because of my crash and burn of 2021. So I'm really looking forward to us moving forward in 2023. And I have some exciting things planned for you guys. So I'm hoping that you will invite people, send them the registration link, get more people to join us because it's only, only going to be beneficial the more people that we have that are coming to these events because it helps you to meet new people, number one, do a little bit of networking and share some of the things that you're learning in business with those people. Um, because if we keep it to ourselves, sometimes that's what holds us back. And here we have Lynn coming. So we just want to make sure that, you know, we're not purposefully not celebrating our wins. Doesn't matter if it's huge or tiny or if it's like I had set a, a goal for the week of reaching out to 10 new people and I reached out to five. That's still a win. Maybe you didn't hit your 10 for whatever reason, but you did the work and you did do something. So we need to be celebrating every big, little, teeny, tiny win that we have in our business because that's what helps keeping you moving forward. And if we come to these meetings and share our business um, successes, uh, pains, struggles, that's what it's here for is to help you to become a better entrepreneur. So I want to say welcome to everybody that is here for our very first event for the year. And I am going to get started with this presentation because I don't want to keep you guys for a long time. I know your time is valuable and I truly appreciate you guys spending your time with me. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so everybody should be able to see my screen now. And I'm going to put me aside here and turn my mic, my, my, my mic, turn my camera off is what I want to do here. So here we go. So hopefully everybody can see my screen. If you just give me a thumbs up. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's not what I wanted to do. Sorry, guys. Wrong button. Okay, so let's get this started. So January, this January Coachathon, we're going to be kind of just doing a brief overview of success tips for 2023. And the question is, are you ready for the best year ever? And we've already had a uh, testimony from Marcy that her December was the highest PV for the month of December that she's ever had in her business. And she's got two new members in her business. So celebrating, celebrating, celebrating. And Sharon spoke a little bit earlier about her plans that she's putting into play for 2023 are going to actually be those plans that are going to bring her to that next level in her business. So we're really excited about the things that everybody has done in 2022 and are going to be doing in 2023. So the greater danger for most of us isn't that our aim is too high and we miss it, but that it's too low and we reach it. So Michael Michelangelo's comment or, or quote here kind of brings to mind the idea that when you're setting up goals or planning your year or your month or your week or your day and you set your aim too high and you miss it, 
then sometimes maybe we need to take another second look at the aim and bring it down a little bit because you want to make it realistic. But also, if you set it too low and you reach it, it just speaks about you can do more if you do more than your low. So just keep that in mind that don't don't look at, well, let's see, I need to make a goal that's going to challenge me. Yes, it, it, you do need to do that. But we're going to um, learn a little bit more about that. So for, um, let me get this out of my way. Oops, sorry, guys. I need to go back the other way. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I need to go here. Sorry. This uh, menu thing keeps getting in my way. And when I try to move it, I end up moving my screen as well. So preparing for 2023, this is your the challenge that I'm giving to you guys for the month of January. You can make your dreams come true by writing down 101 goals that you want to accomplish in your lifetime. And I don't know how many of you have ever thought about that. Have you ever been challenged? to make a list of 101 goals. Now those goals don't necessarily have to be monetary goals. They can be wants, just things that you want in your life or in your business so that you will go back through that list and look at those things that are important enough to you to make them a goal. Yes, your lifetime starting now, do not include goals you have had in the past and were able to bring to life, include only goals that you need to complete. Do not let the work goals intimidate you and hold you back from taking action. Because setting goals and reaching them gives you power. When a goal is reached, you lose the power. And in order to fuel the next action, you have to have something to work for, something to move towards to keep you moving. Your list of goals will keep your conscious and subconscious mind working creating and staying on task. Some goals can be reached faster than others. Some take years. Some can be done in an hour or a day. The point is you must have a goal to work towards to keep you moving forward. The rule of the universe is abundance. Do not, you do not have abundance? Why? You can have everything you want so why settle for less? Your goals can be added to, subtracted from, and achieved as you move through life. So here's the framework. Number one, own your goals. Do not write down someone else's goals that, will, that they set for you. For example, maybe it's your sponsor or your mentor or your coach. Make the goal yours. Yes, it's okay to brainstorm with someone, but in the end, make it yours. The goal must mean something to you. Your reason for charting the course must be yours, not someone else's. It is the energy that gets you up in the morning with gratitude for a new day and an opportunity to start working on that goal that will take you to the prize. The goal must be specific and measurable. Make it a clear and concise statement. Number four, the goal must be flexible. A flexible plan will keep you from suffocating in your journey and help you to take advantage of genuine opportunities that come before you to open your door to the future. The goal must be challenging and exciting, or what is it in what is in it for you? If you're not having fun, why are you doing it? Make sure you move out of your comfort zone. The goal must align with your values, connect with your intention and your gut. If you feel out of sorts, maybe it is the wrong direction. But if you feel the tingle of excitement, keep moving forward. Number seven, the goal must be well-balanced. Include time for relaxation, fun, and enjoyment. The goal must be realistic and expansive, but not ridiculous or unreasonable. And the goal must include contribution. Make sure you are giving back. 
And number 10, the goal must be supported. Share your dreams with those who will support and encourage you. So anybody here have any questions or comments or anything that you want to speak to concerning this 10-step framework for goal setting or anything in general before I proceed? Lynn, are you going to say something? Nope, I'm all good. Okay. Thanks. All right. Okay. Nope, nobody else? I don't see anything in the chat. Okay, Marcy. So Marcy just started using goals in the habit tracker, and it helps me to reach my goals and stay on track. Now, that's incredible, Marcy. That's an awesome testimony to the audience that, you're using goals and you're using a habit tracker. That's that's awesome. Do you feel that, when did you start doing that? Was that before you closed out your December month or is it something that you just started doing now because of the new year? Just last month. So you did it in December. Do you feel that that really played a big impact on the results that you had for that month? Yes, absolutely. So that's the testimony, guys. So I am here today to tell you that I am going to spend the first quarter of Jane of the year encouraging you guys to make sure that you are creating goals and doing the work that you need to do to get yourself moving forward had a massive impact. I just wanted to say thank you to Marcy for sharing that because I use a habit tracker, but it's, I guess it's more of a wellness tracker, but I never thought about using a habit tracker for my business. And I think that's a really great idea. So I'm going to add that to my journal. Thank you, Marcy. Yeah. Actually, when you when you get into the study about creating goals and making a plan for the year or for the quarter or for the month, that the steps that you have to take to reach that goal have to be duplicatable. And because they are duplicatable, they become a habit. And then you want to track it. And so I think that's what Marcy's talking about is if you're tracking the things that you've committed to, the action steps that you commit to in your goal setting and your planning, and you look at it and you go, well, you know, maybe on Monday I planned on doing this. And um, at the end of the week when I went back and looked at what I actually did, what interrupted me on Monday? What kept me from reaching that goal that I had originally set? Was it my procrastination? Was it something that happened that interrupted my flow, a family event or an emergency? Was it something that I had no control over? So because if you just know I've got this stuff all planned out and I didn't meet it, it doesn't feel very good. But if you actually know what your intentions were and the steps that you took to make it happen and discover it didn't happen and you go back and look at why it didn't happen, then if it's something you have control over, you can be recognize it and, and put it in the back of your mind or, or even in your planner that you need to watch for that or that you need to spend more time doing that thing that was successful. And maybe it you weren't successful because it wasn't something that was in flow with you, with your mindset, with the way that you want to do your business. And Marianne says, I am setting goals and completely reviewing my business and taking all the training. That's awesome, Marianne. Training is awesome, but we have to be sure we're implementing it as well. 
And um, if you can find somebody, if you need an accountability partner or someone that can run right alongside you to encourage you and just make sure that you're doing what you said you're going to do, not shaming in any way, but just a support, then that's something that you might want to think about. Um, Marcy may have people that she's, because she's got a team now that she's working with. So maybe some of her team members are helping to support her in her growth. So getting started. Embarking on this journey could be the most important action you could ever take for your life, business, and family. So make it count. I hope you will join me on the five-day workshop that I will be holding in January that can position yourself to reaching the best quarter of your life. So what's coming? You are invited to join a Mastermind Accountability Membership Group for $25 a month. And I'll put the link in the chat if you want to sign up. You can attend for a month, get what you need. If you feel the group is not serving your needs, you can cancel at any time. I would love to have you in the Mastermind. I hope you'll join me on the five-day workshop, Creating Your Success Plan, that I will be holding in January that can position yourself to reaching the best quarter of your business. Links will be provided in that workshop that you can access so you can actually be doing the work, creating that plan, setting those goals, and getting the results that you want for your business in 2023. Can I ask a quick question? You sure can. Is that more for direct sellers? Or... The mastermind or the workshop? Both. The mastermind is for anybody. It, it's not targeting direct sales, network marketers. It's business owners. Okay. My intention is to have a variety of, uh, you know, people in the group that share because when you're building a business, there is a basic framework, but the steps that you take in that framework are built towards your personal business processes. The company that you represent, if you're being a coach, if you're coaching, you still have to sell. You have to get people into your programs. It's no different than a network marketer building a team or selling products. It's all the basics are the same. And you can take those basics and mold them into a plan that's for you with the ideas and the things that other people have done that you may not have ever thought about. And that's the purpose of a mastermind. Okay. Now, the workshop itself is basically planning success. I'm doing the basic training on how you can create this and do that. You'll get worksheets. You'll get uh, modules that you can actually go and do on your own time. But you have to do the work. So I would have to say it's it's for anyone that even, even if you have in the past planned out your year and didn't reach your goals, but just having that refresher course or having other people in front of you that can help inspire you, help you to be creative, um, get ideas, maybe like Marcy. Marcy is a millions um, planner representative. She's an amazing organizer. It's absolutely incredible. And some of the tools that she has within her planning system could be a piece that you might want to in, you know, input into your planning for your year, because every year I'm always looking for a planner, you know, I've always over the last, let's see, I've been in business for seven years. So over the last seven years, every year I'm looking for a planner. You know, I've tried Franklin Covey. I've tried the good, the good planner. I've tried uh, this other planner and, I, and, and I've never, ever found a planner that really fits me. Because I'm always looking and you don't really know until you try it. Now, if I had known about Marcy five years ago, of course, she wasn't selling them then. I probably wouldn't have a problem with a planner right now because of the way hers are designed. There's a piece for everything that you need. You don't have to buy the whole thing. You buy those pieces that you need. 
and it's incredible. And she trains people on how to use it. That's the other piece. If you buy a good planner, I, I took a full Franklin Covey class on how to use that planner. So the first few years I used it, I didn't use it in my business, but I used it in my personal life with the company that I worked for. It worked fine for that. But for it in my business, I can't see it being something that would work for me in my business. So I hope that answers your question. It does. I have struggled with the whole planner thing as well. So yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear yeah. you. And I know that there's planners out there for direct sellers and whatever, but mm -hmm. I I like nice and thin. They're way too thick. And I carry mine back and forth to work. So I want something that's compact and yeah. You're gonna simple. have to connect with Marcy. I will have to connect with yeah. Marcy. You have to <laughs> With Marcy, check out her personal profile. She's got some wonderful videos that she puts together or reels, I guess they are, about their her planners and how to put them together and so on and so forth. Um, because it's yeah, I think I think Sharon's even bought some things from her, you know, just pieces, you know, oh, I needed that and she got that from Marcy. So I'm not I'm you know, this group is not necessarily here to promote somebody, but it's here to meet somebody that does something that you resonate with that you two can collaborate on. Um, I know Marcy and Amanda collaborate on things, you know, as direct sales representatives and so on and so forth. So, um, but I'm here to just kind of help people to see a vision that maybe they didn't see themselves in as an entrepreneur. So I've put the link for the mastermind accountability um, membership group. And when you guys, if you want, you can copy it and paste it or just click on it and it'll open up for you. So when we get off the call, you can go take a look at the sales page and see if it's something that you might be interested in. And it is, I've created a Facebook group. So the, the, the masterminds will be held on Zoom and shared into the Facebook group, okay? The accountability portion of that mastermind is if you're if the group is big enough where there's people that can say, you know, like maybe Mary Ann's in there and Susie Murphy is in there and they really resonate with each other and they want to connect with each other, then those two can be accountability partners where they would spend uh, every day in the week. It's like five to 10 minutes a day where that you would be holding somebody accountable. It can be a matter of uh, sending them a text or dropping something in Messenger, just to remind them. Uh, Marianne, you know, you told me that you were gonna be doing this on Wednesday, how did that go? And she goes, oh gosh, no, it completely slipped my mind. I didn't get that done. I've gotta get that done, you know, stuff like that. It's not shaming, it's just they're holding, holding them accountable because once you commit, it's a proven fact that 65% of people People that have an accountability partner are 65% more productive than people that don't have one. But you got to be very careful. If you are a, a builder, you know, you're building a team, you're not just selling products, you're building a team and you've got people underneath you. Now you have to lead them. You have to let them know there's this training they need to be on. There's this training they need to be on. This is this stuff they need to learn how to do. And they're not taking that action. And you're going, you know, you're calling them every week. You got to, you know, you're going to be able to meet it, be on our meeting on Wednesday night, whatever. If you've got to do that every single day for months and months, you're not helping them. Yeah, you can start with, I am going to do what I can to help encourage you to make sure that you've got it on your calendar, that you've got the bell ringing when you're supposed to be or you're supposed to be, so that you know you're not going to put anything else on your calendar during that hour and you'll be there. Now, if they don't, you know, just being having that reminder can help them. Because for me, when I say to somebody, you know, would you mind holding me accountable or whatever? They'll, I'll let them do it for a while. And that helps me to remember, oh gosh, you know, I promised I'd get this done and, and I got to have it done by tomorrow. And if, if I get that message from, from Susie and then I haven't done it yet, I'm just going to feel terrible about it. Not for her, for me, but for her, because she's trying to help me, you know? So that really helps people to be, uh, have an accountability partner. And then sometimes you just end up developing a wonderful relationship. 
that just can I say something about that? Yes, please. So years and years ago, and I have been um I'm many, many years ago when I was a creative memories consultant, one of the people on my team who became a leader on my team. So we're going back 18 years, maybe, maybe <laughs> a little more. Um, we started every Thursday morning. It used to be Wednesday mornings at 7.15 in the morning. Um, and even now, all these years later, she's in a different company. I'm coaching instead of doing direct sales. And no matter what's going on at 7.15 every Thursday, we are still meeting. And it has made such a huge difference, even though we're not on the same team anymore with the same company anymore it doesn't matter we do three minutes of how was your week and then we go both put our phones on mute and we work she works on whatever she needs to work on i've got my to-do list yeah. and even if she's on vacation or i can't make it yeah. i still wake up and do it because i don't no matter what else is going on during the week if stuff comes up and we have i have one of those i plan god laughs kind of weeks whatever mm -hmm. it is Thursday morning at 7.15, I am working, yeah. even if she's not there. Mm -hmm. And it, it's it been amazing. I don't think I would be where I am yeah. if it hadn't happened. Yeah. Yeah, well, this mastermind accountability group that I'm creating, um, I'm going to, I'll be teaching people about masterminds and also about what an accountability group means for the people that decide they want to be active because it's, it, it, it's it's like you're going to make it your own like for what you're talking about to me is kind of like a power hour you know I was in a Facebook group for a while before my crash and burn <laughs> and every Friday we met for an hour and we would come on camera and we'd say okay this is what I, and it helped me so much because it was something that I was creating I was creating probably a challenge or something and I hadn't had a chance all week to even work on it. And that Friday, I knew that Friday at one o'clock, I'm going to be on this power hour and I'm going to get this thing done, you know? And then we come on camera and go, yeah, this is what I'm working on. This is what I need to get done. And then we go off camera for 30 minutes. We do our work. We come back on in 30 minutes and just give an update on where we're at. So if we have a question or a struggle or something, you know, like, well, I'm working on, what do you guys think about this? I want to, you know, I want to have a nice headline. What do you think about this headline? You'd be able to give it to them and they'd be able to give us immediate feedback. And you can do that in an accountability partner with somebody that says once a week, we're going to do a power hour together. You know, it's totally up to the people that are in the group that they're connecting to. And that's why I say, if you're considering looking at getting into a mastermind, and this particular one is a mastermind, but it's also an accountability one where you guys would be able to pick out who you want to have an account for an accountability partner and then decide how you want to go. You can use that mastermind to come back when we meet on, well, we're thinking about doing this. What do you think would this work? Instead of just the two of you figuring all that out, you've got all the people in the group to help give you resources. Maybe there's a free tool that they're aware of that you're not aware of that could help you that they'll be able to give and help and, you know, let you guys know about it. Um, and then the person that you are connected to, they would be able to do the same thing. And it, But accountability shouldn't really take more than five minutes a day, Monday through Friday, if you're going to be doing it for business. Don't have to do Saturdays and Sundays unless you choose to, to keep you on track and keep you moving. And that's one thing that I've discovered with my business that it wasn't until I just decided the end of was December, I think, of 2019, when I had an opportunity to get into a planning success program where we were able to lay everything out and the program that I put together on um, January, I put it into play and I was able to reach my month's goal in 10 days because it's the first time I'd ever made a commitment to my business, a commitment to setting goals and having those step-by-step -step steps of reaching that goal for the overall goal, you know? So that's why I'm saying that's what this workshop is going to be basically on. 
And I'm hoping that if it's successful enough, it'll be something I do every month for the entire year of 2023. So people can come in and take it again the next month and maybe pick up something new they hadn't learned or maybe even share something that they discovered or find something that just kind of that aha moment, you know, to be more creative. So that's my plan for the workshop. And it's going to be a free workshop. So I'd like to be able to do that. Um, looking at maybe around the 23rd of January. I don't know what everybody's schedule is. And I'm thinking about 7 p.m. Eastern time. You know, because I have so many people in so many different time zones. So that's what I was thinking on. So it's like the fourth week of the year. Or it could be this week of the 16th. It's either the 16th or the 23rd that I'm kind of looking at. So I'm just trying to get enough people interested in it and get the sales page put together so you all can get registered and um, get the emails so that you have the notifications to be able to be on that workshop. It'll be recorded. So it'll be, you know, in a Facebook group. So it'll be recorded. So if you can't attend live, you can come back in and watch the replay and get the the uh, files, if there's content that's available for you, there will be a worksheet in there, workbook. So you'll be able to download that, print it off, or just digitally use it to help yourself get organized for the, um, the, the basic layout is like a 90 day goal sheet. But you're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna put it together for a month and it'll be duplicatable. So that's what I'm, that's my plan. And then again, the mastermind is open. It's ready for me to take on members for the mastermind. So if you're interested in joining me on the mastermind, as soon as I have people ready, as soon as you uh, pay, you're going to get kicked over to the Facebook group. And if I know I got people in there and then we're going to get started. So uh, that's my plan. I don't have a definitive date and time when we're going to do the Zoom sessions. It'll have to be a collaboration, I think, between members. The overall consensus of the availability of the people that are going to sign up will be the day, which makes it, it can be flexible, you know, as far as uh, changes, making the different changes. If we do a Zoom every week, changing it to the different day, if it's not going to work out for most of the people, the higher percentage of the people. But that's my game plan. That's my goal. So let's see, I don't have any more comments over here. Anybody else? Anybody else have questions, concerns? Um, anybody want to just share a tiny bit about how their 2022 went and if they have anything specific that they struggled with that they need help with or that they were able to figure out? I know, Lynn, you just started your coaching program again. So I did. did you, it's did going you get really that, well. Did you bring on that prospect that you were? Um, my call is in 10 minutes, actually. Oh, okay. okay. That's right. <laughs> so I have okay. a prospective client in a few minutes. Um, but my group program starts tomorrow night for divorced women over 40 back in the dating world. My goal was four. Um, and I have eight, possibly nine. I'm almost hoping that the ninth, who's a maybe, says no, because eight is a lot in a group. Um, and I want to make sure everybody has enough time and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. her friend told her about it. And if she says yes, great. <laughs> so eight, maybe nine, starting tomorrow night for three months. Um, so oh, I'm excited about that. Okay. And um, and I got my word of the year. I just printed it out at work so I can go put it on my bulletin mm -hmm. board. <laughs> That's awesome. Narrowed down my word. So yeah, I feel like I'm in a really good yeah, spot. That's, that's so, great. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, well, it will be awesome whether you have eight or nine. Um, you know, so just just take your breath and just it is what it is. And it's all yeah, it is what it is. And yeah. the age range of this group uh -huh. 50 to 81. Oh my gosh. 
I know. I was not expecting that. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Yeah. So, Marianne, three can you widows, see everybody. In a group like that? Marianne's I'm, single. I'm talking about Marianne. I'm just saying, Mary, she's Marianne's 94, right, Marianne? 95? You're on mute. I'm 91. I'll be 91. 91. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> Can I hope see, I look like you when I'm 60. <laughs> can you see yourself in a in a in a coaching group like that, Marianne, as a as a single divorced adult? <laughs> I probably fit into it, but I don't yeah. know if I'm ready for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, but she's so much fun. Marianne is a lot of fun. So I'm just saying awesome. And there's three widows in the group too. I wasn't expecting that, but that's awesome. That's okay. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. That's Thank great. you. Lynn, what do you do? Um, I just restarted my coaching business. So I work with women 40 plus that are find themselves back in the middle of their lives, back out in the dating game and uh, trying to help them find you know, navigate through the online dating world because it's not so much fun sometimes. Um, helping them navigate through that and giving them some tips on saving time because it does feel like a part-time or full-time job sometimes depending on how much time you put into it um and a lot of deep dive on themselves ourselves you know so that we're not repeating the same cycles and dating the same person in a different body over and over again <laughs> but 